Yes, Macho. Well, yeah. Welcome to Freelance Chucky Place, you know. I was so warm and feel so good meeting you, you know. Because like I said before, I be keep on watching you and Ross Kitchen, you know, with Moko, you know. And I always say, I hope to meet this man one day, you know. And now the dream already come true, you know. So Nice, man. You to nice to meet you, you know, too, man. Place, you know? Yeah, man. Much respect. So, this is the entrance yeah. to Freelance Chucky Place, you know. Over there, it's the Orthodox Church. But to be honest, I'm not really a member of the church, but I contribute what I can contribute to the church, to help the people who run the church, okay? Cool. So this is the entrance from the church, and then you go up here. Up here, we got your bike. My bike. And regular bike. And there's plenty of parking for people if you happen to rent a car and drive over here like I do. Yeah, man. And that's yeah. a great Scrappy, you know? No, oh, Scrappy's an awesome dog. <laughs> Scrappy, this is where you are. You're hanging out down yeah. here. Yeah, I've been watching you and Simon for ages too, so it's like I feel like I know you already from watching okay, all the videos, okay, right? Okay. So it's it's a very cool we got to link and, up. And right? this is the barbecue pan, you know? Nice. But it kind of break now, so I'm trying to bring it back to the welder and repair it and bring a new one back home, you know, as soon as possible. Oh you know? yeah, I got a little. Yes, you got a little hole there. As soon as possible. So here is the room, you know. So this is room one, you know. Yeah, big size room. room. Big room, you know? Awesome. With two big beds inside. Nice you know? wood floor. But we have guests now, so that's why it look like this, you know? Yeah, yeah. yes. It, it occupy right now by two guys from Switzerland, so it always going to look like this. But a lot of space, a lot of breeze. You got the nets. I found I didn't need the mosquito net at all. Yeah. But you have them just in case. Yes. Good. Yes. Here's the room I'm staying in. Yes, this is room two, you know? Room two. So yeah, yeah super comfortable beds. <laughs> I slept really good. We had a little bit of rain fall on the zinc this morning it's just such a nice way to to chill you got plenty of shelving like i got all my camera gear lined up my chocolate stash yes <laughs> i know i must tell the people around the world freelance truck your wi-fi you know oh yeah yes yes wi-fi no so don't no problem you can come and stay here for as long as you want and if you want to work from here like in america germany and just want to come to jamaica and chill and work Wi-Fi up and running and macho, you know it running good. Okay? It runs really good. I'm able to stream everything <laughs> I need to do. I'm able to upload videos. So I'm impressed because Wi-Fi, honestly, even when I'm in Kingston, I have a tough time dealing with Wi-Fi. So see here, this is the password. Makes sense. For the Wi-Fi, yeah. <laughs> yes. And over here, it's a freelance kitchen. Yeah. What up, what up? What up? Hey, hey. This is a freelance kitchen, you know? And like I said before. I promise the people when they come to my place, they can do what they want. The stove is here, the fridge is here, and they just do use up all the utensils. You don't have to pay for nothing, you know. It's awesome. Just like that, you know. Proper. But no, I don't take the fridge to put in the bar. I still let it stay here, you know, because I have to keep my promise. I have to shoot to my word. And you can eat out of bash. Yeah, man. Properly eat out of the bash if you want to. Yeah, man. Great stuff. Yeah, the the propane or gas gas stove works great. Nice area to chill. Or oh, you got your uh, another barbecue area over here, yes, yeah? Yes, over here, you know? Where the coconut chopping section. Everything is here. Yeah. And over here now. Well, this is the exciting part, I think. Yes. This is the, this is the new bar, you know? Mm -hmm. I just make. I gotta go around the counter. Sure. Although I'm not a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So cool. Proper, this nice and high. And a new place I organized to make the guests feel more at home. They don't have to just running up and down looking for something to drink when they want something to drink, you know. They can just relax at home and then take the drinks from the chef, you know. Because to be honest, I'm not really a guy to sit here and serve people, you know. So I just make it more open, just like the fucking kitchen, freelance, you know. <laughs> just come and serve yourself and put down your money and go, you know. And I'm not going to employ a girl to come here and work. No, I'm not that type of guy, you know. I'm open, freelance, you know. I trust people just like how people trust me, you know. So I don't expect no one to destroy me and I destroy no one, you know. So the people just have to do what they have to do, you know. The price is there for the beer and the water and everything. So they can make their own change, you know. I don't even have to make the change, you know. Show you how far I go with people and trust people, you know. Yeah, man. Just awesome. like that, man. And it's ice cold. You have it set. Ah, you have it set to the lowest setting. I know that. Super. <laughs> it's so icy. Super. Yeah. Brand new fridge, you know? So good. Music, everything is here, you know? Full on sound system. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so 
to be honest, I'm still working on it a little bit more to make it get more unique, you know. But this is just the first start, you know. Because you have to start from somewhere. If you don't start from somewhere, you're going nowhere, you know. So you have to start from somewhere. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's a good spot. Paint job looks hot too. Yeah. I know where you know. This is room three. Okay. So yeah. Plenty of room, plenty of light, plenty yes. of air passing through. And it gets like nice and cool at night. It's very comfortable sleeping here. Yes. Because yes. I know some people ask when you go to a warm country, is there air conditioning? Is there a fan? You don't, I have. No, you, you, don't need, you don't really need it here. You don't need it. It's so close by the river. It's so cool here. Yeah. And this is room four, you know. This is the only room don't occupy at this present moment. But all other room mm. occupy with guests from yeah. Germany and Switzerland. So maybe sometime next week somebody will come and take it. You never know, you know. Got right. freelance truck, you know. So people are always interested to come around, you know. Yes. Hundred percent. Yes. And yeah. over here now is the bathroom, you know. Freelance bathroom. <laughs> over here. Freelance bathroom? Yes. Nice big shower. Super big water. Fresh, right. clean water. Whoop. There's the real test. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and you got um, pipe for laundry if people want to do their yeah, laundry. If you want to do your laundry, you can just come here and, and do your laundry. You know? Yeah. Call for water for sure. You know? Yeah. And that's your bedroom. <laughs> yes, that's my bedroom outside. Freelance bedroom. You know? see, see, even I guess over there hanging out on it. Yeah. Because he, he like it, you know. Just so cool. chilling, you know. And Boston. Boston, we love you, man. <laughs> Even though you chewed my computer cable, you're still cute. Yeah. Ah. And then, uh, yeah, oh. area for dishes. Over here is what you look about dishes. Isn't it? Yeah. Right here, you know. So you can come here and wash and do what you want to do. You know? Water pressure is so nice, you know. And to my friend coming up there, mm. yes, you get a little damage. So you have to be very careful when you come up, you know. But you're okay, man. And you got so many coconut trees. So many coconut trees. You Water see all the young ones coming in. Yes. You picked a massive bunch from over there. Yes. Had drinks for everyone. Yes. So I, I told you before, I plant it because I have this plan to run this thing with a tourist thing, you know. So when the tourists come, I can give them a water coconut or a dry coconut if they want to cook, you know. And just happy, you know. Yes. I'm that type of guy. You know? Always try to help the people once they are in Jamaica, you know. Yeah, and you're such easy access too from Port Antonio. It's, ah. it's like what a 15 minute drive. 15 maybe. minutes drive from Port Antonio. Yeah. So if you come on the Northwood bus, I could call a taxi and make a taxi guy pick you up. Yeah. But like 2,000 Jamaican and bring it to my place, no yeah. problem, you know. Yeah. But if you take the regular taxi, you pay like 200 dollars. So it left to you. But sometimes Northwood bus come a little bit too late, mm. and it, the regular taxi already shut down, you know. So you have to call a private taxi. But I'm not the guy to tell you say. The taxi is for 300, 400, 500. I tell you the right proper price. I don't also tourists, you know. Mm -hmm. No, I'm a very generous guy, you know. If Absolutely. I know that something is for hundred dollar, I tell you hundred. I don't tell you hundred and fifty. It make yeah. no sense, you know. Because I'm not thinking about today. I'm a long term. You're thinker. long term, which thinker. in Jamaica you tend to get some short term thinking sometimes. I, I'm a long term thinker. Uh -huh. When you leave my place, I want you to go and tell other people say, you know, so when you go to Jamaica, you have to go to Chucky place. Because Chucky is here to take care of the people. I'm not here to rip off people. No, I'm a very generous guy and want to help the people. So once you're here, I'll have a problem. Or just like the Japanese guy who have this problem in the long day and then Simon bring him to my place. When he come to my place, ah, mm. like he come to heaven, you know? Yeah. Yes, he feels so at home, you know? But he lose like a thousand dollar at the next place. You, you, you didn't see the video? No, yeah. I missed that one. I'll have to, wa I'll watch that. I'll link it below for Simon and uh, Chucky there. Yeah. Um, how about your, what else you got growing? You can give me a quick tour yeah. while we're here because there's uh, good things growing. We have cactus. Oh, that's the tuna that you yeah, can do a tuna. shampoo video. Yeah. We'll do that someday. Marijuana mm. growing. Lemongrass. This is the lemongrass. Yes. And, and that's the mint. So I saw tree over there. Mm. And we have gungo. Gungo peas. Yes, this is gungo peas. Yeah, Moko loves these too. He grows yeah. a lot of gungo peas. Gungo peas, you know. And, and this is avocado. <laughs> 
You know, when I first asked you, I'm like, oh, Chucky, you growing anything on the yard? And you said, oh, not much, really. Avocado. Wow. That's a big one, which they call pear over here, yeah? Yes. 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 Man. Yeah, I love the avocado pear in Jamaica. You got some aloe vera? No, that's oh. not aloe vera. Similar. Yeah. A, a, a small aloe vera plant out here. No? Uh -huh. just very, it's a very small one. And the river is just over there. Yeah, man. And it's incredibly healthy. There's always the um, garlings on it. There's so many posted up. See it here? It's a small aloe vera. Ah, yeah. Just, ju just growing up, you know? Nice. Yeah, man. Cool. Oh. And, and, and behind the house over here? Banana. Huge banana, yeah. Huge banana. Only banana. So, nice. so whenever time we cut them, I just send them here, freelance. That's when the guests wake up, they can just pick banana. Oh, you tie them up? Yeah, man. Right yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Great. I let them swing on the veranda. Yeah. So anybody can just have them, you know? Not for money. You just take banana, you know? So That's cool. how we work. And there's an aki tree over here. So when aki start to bear, yeah. the guests can just pick aki and oh, cook aki. Yeah. No problem, you know? It's a big one. Yes, and it, and if you big. hear a big <coughs> in yes. the middle of the night, you don't yeah. worry, it's not World War III, it's just an Aki falling out of Just an Aki falling out of your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. So everything good so far, you know? Yeah. yeah. He's not oh, Papa. Yeah. Ah. Oh, all right. Well, I'll finish this. Chucky's getting a call. He's very popular and very busy, but uh, I'm going to walk down to the river here because it's so beautiful. And, uh, oh yeah, there's these hammock areas, chill areas. Can just totally post up and relax. I've only been here a few days and I've just been loving it. And uh, yeah, highly recommend it if you're staying at Malko's place and you're heading to Portland area. This is a, a awesome place to stay. But it's a quick walk down to the river and a little rocky, so you might want to wear slippers or sandals or jandals or thongs or whatever country you're from whatever you call them I prefer calling them jandals I believe that's a New Zealand thing and uh, yeah you can walk right over here I'm gonna get my feet wet because I don't care but uh, there are so many fish in here jumping around white garling birds uh, there were schools of little tiny fish swimming all over the place. There was Jenga jumping around, which are the little river shrimp. And it was just incredible to see how healthy it is. Just crazy. So, and Chucky was saying, if you want to go swim, as you can see, it's kind of shallow here. You can still bathe in here, but if you go up the river, there's some really nice bathing spots in the river with deep holes and all that kind of thing. So anyway, it's a fantastic place. Chucky's been an amazing host since the second I arrived. You know you get a vibe from someone the first time you meet them within a couple minutes and 100% uh, feel that vibe with Chucky. So anyway, come visit Chucky's yard. Airbnb links below. You'll see me back here for sure, so bless up.